Hallo, hè. Johan. Hallo. Oh. Ja, good to see you, Victor. Good to see you are still alive. Johan, what are you doing? Yeah. Hey, hey, Victor. Johan, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, me and Bill want, uh, came here. We were search We needed to uh, buy something from the, the general store. Mm -hmm. uh, we time? hunted some deer on the way. Well, uh, Where is Bill? Uh, he, uh, he's not there buying it now. Uh, he right. wanted to get some uh, code locks. Well, I've been asleep for like three days, so I don't know what's been going on since then. Yeah, maybe you should lay off the, the mist and fog, you know, just a suggestion. You got a pretty big whiff of it uh, before, yeah? I was tired out from moving shit from the other base. Yeah, I, that I is woke fair. Up, Completely I, fair. I woke up and there was, you know, all kinds of new stuff there. Yeah. Eh, uh, well, for what it is worth, um, we have a lot of venison. Uh, 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 fuck load of venison. We just having, need a place to cook it, yeah? Having food's good. Yeah. So, um, what's our next big, um, uh, goal, Johan? Um, well, we do have a handful of, uh, like, obviously we can conduct expeditions uh, over to Black Moon, you know? Um, I say over to Black Moon because uh, they happen to be right smack dab in the middle of uh, all of our allegations. You know, all, all, all of the reports we've gathered, the unknown craft, the uh, skeleton. Yeah. Yeah, let us go back out to the park. Hello, gentlemen. If you have any information about a suka named Daniel, I will pay you gladly for it. Daniel? I, I've never met a Daniel before. Yeah, he no, hangs here. around the RCFI area, but not affiliated with the faction up there. He just kind of does some contract work for them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did he do something to you? Duh. Anyways, just keep your knee up. Uh, mind my asking what that was about? Um, who's looking for a guy named Daniel? He's looking for Daniel, someone named Daniel. Hmm. Oh, what did he say about him? He just said he was looking for him. Apparently he did uh, some things, and he's willing to pay information about him. Yes. Oh, interesting. Well, that Daniel guy is one of my guys. He's a worm, but he's my worm, you know? <coughs> Every group needs one. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, we had a misunderstanding, but I figured that they would let it go. Yeah. Yeah, here's hoping. I have only... I haven't heard anything good about uh, these tensions between you two. Yeah, I would like to see them, um, yeah, go away. Yeah, well, um, let me see. Uh, well, first, while we're here, do you mind my prying about the uh, rumors of some sort of uh, unknown craft to the east of uh, where I believe your base is located? Uh, I, don't, I say unknown craft, I wasn't given a description. Oh, uh, the, the radio message. Um, I came in. I, uh, I, is it related to the radio message? Or are you talking about the a very um, specific craft crashed into the swamp? Uh, yeah, that one. Yes, uh, that was mine, actually. But uh, oh. I don't have any... That's what I came in the rift through, but I don't have any components to fix it, obviously. Yeah. Wait, that's your spaceship? Yep. Yeah, my friend. Can we see it? I wouldn't mind. Like you wouldn't mind us going around there, there will it? No, not at all. If you have to see the ship to believe my story, let's go. Yeah, well, uh, I would very much like to do this. Yeah. Yeah. That would that would be good. Uh, Sounds like a plan. We wanted to investigate it anyhow, so uh, 
two birds with one stone, yeah? Yeah, for sure. I like the new armbands. Yeah, oh, they thank you. much better. That's a good choice. They're far better than just plain yellow. Yeah, definitely. Personally, I would have preferred yeah. black, but I didn't have a choice in the option. It's I, I want us to stand out, you know? We're not supposed to... We want to be identified from far away, yeah? Alright, so... There you go. This can work. Oh, nice. Oh, it works. Alright, hope. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Start You're slow and start riding. slow and steady. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Uh, she's brand new and already damaged in the front. Oh yeah. And how does that happen? Um, I hit one of those uh, little waves in time space, and before I oh. knew it, I uh, I went across the field in one second into a tree. Oh God. Well, yeah, you don't want to mimic a spacecraft, you know, because it's just silly. I'm dangerous. I really hope we don't flip. I don't think so. Yeah, I would hope so too. Tip down, perhaps. But yeah, in the meantime, uh, I did want to ask, were you still interested in seeing where um, Gregor Ogg and Victor Fire, that's me and Brian here? It's very loud. I'm having a hard time hearing what you're saying. Oh. Uh, it is fine, it is fine. You can save it so when we get there. Yeah, yeah, precisely. This is... I'm shocked this is working. Kind you of... should have more faith in human machinery. You know? Human ingenuity. Oh, shit, sir. Hey, uh, pardon? Okay, I see what you mean about time space being a little wonky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little slick, you know. <laughs> it's a. Uh, find. Yeah, but yeah, this is some place you have. It's far better than well, what we've got. We're shacked up out of a some industrial building with nothing around. It's quite sad, honestly, but uh, it's a start. Oh uh, yeah, I mean. It just depends on what you're going for, you know, this this gets a lot of attention, a base like this, so it's not exactly covert. Yeah, um, Bell and I actually, uh, we went ahead and bought some uh, with the cord locks, because we, we need to actually secure our doors, you know. I'm just hoping it, uh, I'm hoping there won't be any time-space issues with it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so, um. I got a I got a bit of the transmission regarding Gregorov and his men. Uh, but could I hear you? Could could you tell me in person, and so that way Brian here can hear? Like what happened exactly? So uh, the four of them came here, and they were knocking at the gates, and uh, I greeted them. They had their weapons out, and I asked them just kindly to put them up, right? And they were asking about the banking services that we offer here. Huh? 
Interesting. I take it that shouldn't be happening, really. Yeah, probably not. That's illegal in our territory, but it sounds like that's right outside the border. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so, uh, yeah, they were asking questions about their banking services and everything, and I told them we offered, and they said they, they would be back. They were asking about some clothes maybe to trade at the time, but they didn't really seem interested in actually doing any trading or anything. And they disappeared, and uh, so we were working on our walls, you know? Yeah. And, and whatnot, and all of a sudden there was one shot, and about 10 seconds later there was a couple more, and it sounded like there were, um, it was obvious that the barrels were pointed in our direction, so I gave the order to uh, shoot on sight after that, because I know the history of these men, and I know that they like to take uh, pot shots at people after giving them an initiation morning fire. Yeah. So, um, and then one of them decided to uh, show back up at our gate, wearing the same color armband, and I told my man to engage. He engaged and shot the guy. And we did. It was not a lethal shot, so I told him um, first to fire a warning shot and then fire a wounding shot, and that's exactly what he did. Uh, it sounds like my uh, my K9 units are uh, doing their job. All right. Um, so after that, a uh, little bit of radio shit talking. Um, I believe that the white armbands uh, they got a little hurt over the situation. Hello, gentlemen. If you have any information about a suka named Daniel, I will pay you gladly for it. Yeah. No, no, hangs here. around the. RCFI area, but not affiliated with the faction up there. He just kind of does some contract work for them. Did he do something to you? Duh. Anyways, just keep your ear up. Situation, and so that they were only shooting to get our attention to give us a magazine that they found in the military base to the north or the south. But I don't believe that they could have gotten our attention by coming right up to the gate and speaking. You know. Yeah, that uh, it sounds in character for them to shoot, but uh, you don't shoot to be like, hey, there's something over here. That is foolish at best. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Not. And you, uh, you, you shoot in the air. You don't shoot the walls that men are standing inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the it's... that reminds me of when they fired at us. It was a similar circumstance. We heard. Uh, uh, we had distant gunfire, and we uh, decided to investigate because it was close en It was close enough. It sounded nearby, you know. Um, we stalked them for a half a kilometer, just about, until we finally caught sight of them. We approach, greet. Uh, they seemed friendly enough, if standoffish. And uh, we we part ways. Uh, nothing truly interesting happens, but. Uh, the two of us, we, we continued down a road, they uh, tried to deal with the moose, it, one shot wasn't enough, you know. And no. not even a... Uh, yeah, and, like I waved at them, I know they were looking, and uh, then they open, they, they fire again, or, like over, uh, presumably over our heads, I could not tell. Uh, but uh, they continued to do so, uh, until I could hear the bullets uh, snapping around us, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there was easily eight shots fired. I don't know if that was them fearing we attacked or whatever, but we, I'm pretty sure that... We, at first we thought they we were shooting at them when we shot at the moose. But when we found yeah. out they were just doing little gag that they do. Yeah, the, the very next day we uh, we encountered uh, Gregorov and Victor at the, the power plant. And they're like, hey, how did you like what we did? Uh, you like our parting gift? And it's like, no, I did no, not. You know, we, we didn't like it. Yeah, it's the principle, uh, you know. It shows a lot of uh, dishonor and disrespect to shoot in the even the general vicinity of someone. But when you hear the bullets coming close to you, you it's a threat to your life, and it's not something to be taken lightly. So yeah, yeah it's not the game. Yeah, it's they're strange to say the least. Uh, they've been on relatively friendly terms with me. But uh, in my opinion, you know, the, uh, 
Us two factions and even the white armbands, uh, we have bigger problems in facing in the future. I hear uh, words of bandits moving in, large clans, so I think it would be good to get the, our differences out of the way before, um, you know, th they say divide and conquer, so if we are fighting each other, then chances are that uh, this island will ensue into more chaos than it already is. Yeah, and we frankly, more chaos is good. Yeah. Um, I did read in the broadsheets about uh, um, some of these monarchist pirates uh, or communist soldiers. Uh, do you know much about that conflict? Or? Uh, not, not so much, no. As I say, uh, I do not, I'm still learning a lot about the history of this uh, reality timeline. So. Hmm. But yeah, I do know that uh, the, the, the machine that caused um, so much evil in this land was a Soviet weapon and these uh, monarchists are probably descendants from the same uh, uh, yeah, the same establishment that uh, created it. Yeah, probably. likely up to no good. Probably. I'm just surprised the Reich didn't find out that about it, you know? I would have, uh, we occupied this island for years, you know, it's surprising. But uh, either way, that's why we are here, uh, the, uh, we search life. We're trying to find out about all this, Yeah. see if we can piece together this yeah. puzzle. If he never comes, Hello. but... Uh, oh, he's I, here. I Hello. Hello. Uh, please help. Oh, it is not. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? Are you okay? I... I seek... Refuge. Yeah. You have a pretty good pulse, but come on in. Oh no. This is for you. Uh, you, you are Moldor, yes? Yes, yes my friend. Well, good. Here. Yeah. Good intel. Yeah, yeah, I think you understand the severity of the situation, yes? Yeah, a little bit. And might I, uh, might I inquire some medical aid? Yes, absolutely. I have a, uh, a small medical bay inside. Would you like to um, look at this? It's, uh, you might be interested. Follow they, me inside. Uh, they sent me here yeah, to okay. scout. You want to read that out loud? I can't work under these conditions. Mm. Oh. Yeah, just give me a moment. Oh, God. Oh, oh, these stairs. Oh. Hey, gentlemen, you can come inside if you would like. Uh, sounds good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep the just weapons on the shoulders. Oh, uh, that's Bell. Yeah, come on, inside. Come uh, on, Bell. Yeah. They have something to tell you. Out of character? I lagged so yeah. hard at blue screen. <laughs> 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 Tell Mulder that. Yeah, your time space continuum of a base blue screen to my computer. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> come on, Bill. <laughs> Alright. Yo, huh? All right. Go to my, Go. my laboratory. Oh my god. Space time is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know right if it's the vodka they, uh, they're or not the so space good about time. keeping the, the doors closed. Maybe a little. It may even bit. be both. Oh God, Johan. A moment, please. In the rest. Uh, what happened to your leg? The uh, the wildlife around here are not so friendly. Neither are the rocks. Uh, Oh no, oh, yo! Uh, I can't get in. I, I'm ready dog. to continue now. Oh, he's stuck. Yeah, yeah, he's the time space got him. Which means it's bound to give me some time too. Oh, look at that flag. He had uh, the well, note. catch up. And he had the note. It's basically, 
It was uh, some <coughs> some intelligence that was gathered about uh, uh, all of us. All of us? Yes. And uh, what do you mean by all of us? Um, all of you. It was, yes, about uh, the searchlight, the, uh, information about the yeah. black moon, locations, how many men. Here, follow me into the medical bay here. Yes, yes, thank you. Do you, um, okay. do you know where from? Yes, this uh, gentleman would be the man to ask. Here, I have some narcotics I will give you. Thank you. That should start feeling better. You're not still bleeding, are you? No, no, it's just my leg. Oh. Okay. I, need, I need to sit down for a moment. I'm feeling a bit... Uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There's a ghost. I'm feeling better, but... Uh, no, that is just the medics. Medicine. Medicine. How you say it? Medicinal. Medicine. Medicine, yes. Oh, well. I, uh, I'm sure you have qu plenty of questions. Um, Narcotics are pretty strong. So who sent um, you? Yeah. I, uh, originally, I, I am a member of House Hofstede. And the, or Hoffman, and they sent me here to uh, to re recon reconnoiter, reconnoiter, reconnaissance. Yes, yes, that uh, they sent me here to do that here. Uh, they sent others to the uh, the other places. We were each given the documents on. Uh, and uh, I, I couldn't do it. I. Uh, I sat up in those buildings for so long, just watching. And the, the wildlife are not too friendly. And uh, when I would try and leave to find food, they uh, ran out. And, well, you can see. I, uh, I, God damn. Well, not you. But him and his men, they seem to be living well. I, uh, I decided to defect, as it were. Well, I appreciate the honesty, and yes, you're always welcome here, if you need medical aid or you have any other information. So, I just, um, I would like to know a little bit more about the intentions on who and, uh, yeah, why they uh, would like information about this camp. Is it for tactical reasons? Uh, yeah. Uh, explains that word. Tactical. So, yeah. is it for for um, intentions of uh, initiating combat with us and taking control of our territory, or is it of uh, more of a defensive term? nature? Uh, no, but uh, long term, more than likely, yeah. They uh, they set up an outpost here. Agent of us was sent with some uh, SS fellows. They uh, they've been calling in the shots. And uh, these these people are the bandits you mentioned, Mulder, or someone else. It sounds like a third party, different from the bandits. It oh. sounds more organized. That's a good point. It's not frightening. Hello, eh? I'm back. Oh my God, Johan! Uh, Johan, we're around the corner. I'll go get him. You can go get your man. Yes. Yeah. So another faction that's come into play with likely insidious intentions. That's what that sounds like. In intentions for uh, any that are not them, I would say. Yeah. So what do these men want? They want to control the control the island and its resources. They want to prevent the uh, Soviet retakeover of the islands. Primarily, uh, but uh, they don't want others edging in on the pie, as it were. Uh, that's understandable, yeah, from right. Nazis. But uh, they must know that we are neutral when we do not side with any Soviet alliances. Uh, siding, uh, siding or not, you are a military power in the area. 
This is true. How's you there? You do have a certain strength. Strength aside. Wait, you're, you're dressed, I mean. Yeah. Anyhow, that, that is not of uh, concern at the moment. Uh, what is of concern is that, uh, yeah, you are uh, you are all implicated in this, I'm sorry to say. Oh, God. Yeah. What? Well, anyway. we can show you uh, yeah. the way to um, his outpost, his tra trading post. I'd, I'd appreciate that, but uh, if you would, I would like to lead you off to the uh, drop-off. See if there is uh, anyone there. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. You mean okay? Okay with that? Oh uh, yeah, I'm fine uh, with this. We, we could go on foot if you would rather. Yeah, if we all need to be there, we can just always just haul behind the car. As long as we keep the lights on, we'll just follow you all. It seems maybe it'd be best if we all stuck together, so I'm okay with on foot. Yeah. Yeah, foot is fine. I, uh, I, my leg is feeling much better. I think I could manage. That's oh, good. You're nice. looking better. I've been saving yeah. those narcotics for a uh, good day, so... Whenever all of you are ready, yeah. Whenever you are. Yeah, well. No, it's just fine. You don't need to worry about me taking the version. Yeah, we might have to learn, it, learn some bits of it if we're going to interact with uh, Gregorov, you know? No, I'll just have you there. Yeah. Is, uh, hey, that, that guy is knows. this uh, part of the uh, Soviet group in the area? Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be him. Uh, I, I assume he is the leader in every encounter I've had. He always leads the discussion. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I, had, I had heard a lot about him, and I, I, I will be honest to a lot of you, I was quite happy that I was uh, not assigned to watching them. From what I hear, they move quite fast and quite far. Yeah. Yeah. Brian and I have come across uh, like they seem to rove about the countryside, making a large roundabout trips towards the. They leave from the power plant, round loop about, and then come back, uh, killing just about everything in the way, uh, short of people usually. I have to stress that. Usually, they, has there been incidents? Um, with when uh, Brian and I first met him, uh, he and Victor, he's the second in command, I assume, uh, they kept mentioning how they ran into one unpleasant man, and it was very clear they're implying that they killed him. I do not know uh, what, um, I did not want to pry. And uh, I apologize, I, I know you are a German, but what, what did you say your name was? Never called I, it. Uh, Johan, it is nice to meet you. It is good to meet oh, you. Sorry, too. friend. What did My you say? Your Weiss. Okay. Weiss. 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 Nice to meet you. A pleasure, my friend. You can call me Bell. Oh, good friend. It's very nice. And you are with uh, Sir Johan. I guess yeah. Got the same band. You guess. Yeah, where is the searchlight, as mentioned in the, uh, that report you had? Huh. Well, you seem pleasant folk. I am uh, sorry to have met under such uh, auspices. Alright, I'm back. It's okay, yeah. you don't need to apologize. This has been good information. Yeah, it's better to know than to not know. If anything, you probably yeah. caught us at the perfect time. I uh, I had seen people come through here in the uh, the car and knew they would be home, but uh, I must be honest, I had not expected the uh, the searchlights to be here in such a presence. Yeah, yeah, we're trying. I, I'd like to uh, close in ties with uh, Black Moon and Mulder here. He's been quite uh, nice and helpful since we since we met him. Uh, same with my friends here. So it is in Black Moon's interest to create some alliances around here before uh, things get too, you know, as I should say, hairy. 
I understand. Yeah, well, uh, I think we're all ready. Uh, we can make, we can hoof it right, to the drop. Right. Yep. Yes. This way. You must forgive me, I, uh... I don't have a flashlight. The one I did have uh, ran out of batteries on the way here. No, on the way to this uh, area, not even to your home. Oh, that's okay, my friend. Looks like we have the, uh, uh, plenty of light. The condition when it comes to supplies back home is uh, not too great. Uh, most of us uh, conscripts go without. Ah. Oh, Seems they were uh, honest in their intentions. Nice That's, one of uh, yours. Uh, not mine, but uh, meant to be mine, I reckon. Curious, there's, uh, there's nothing in the uh, cargo. I'd been told there would be. A Volkswagen. Curious. Mm. Uh, I've been watching. Well, uh, they, they wanted me to return with this to uh, the outpost. Would you like me to uh, take you all there and uh, get you within scouting distance of it, huh? Hey, that sounds like a plan, my friend. Might I borrow a map? Uh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Sure, you know your way back? Okay, who's driving? Not it. Alright, I'll drive. Alright. But uh, yeah, I'll be on. I'll uh, tune into our radio frequency bell. Uh, you can tune in. One of you could tune into that, just so I can uh, stay in touch. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I'll keep on on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, direct the car uh, backwards, if you would. Um, we have to continue down this road behind us, and then uh, take a left. All right. It is a uh, generally southward journey. So backwards, like towards the the military base. Yeah, towards the rear of the vehicle. They don't like the car. I like this bubble wagon. It is good. God damn, there's a lot of them. That's insane. It me. Yeah, it's a strange thing that they can get you in the car. Are you bleeding? I'm not sure, let me check. I will park it where yeah, you can yeah, climb yeah. up. Okay. I would climb up in the tower. One moment. I will distract them some more. There should only be like two left. I might have ran over the Alpha. I don't see them anymore. Me neither. Yeah, I think I think they're dealt with. These are beautiful animals. Yeah, it's a shame. I forgot to feed them. So. I 
know a guy who pays for the pub. Pretty handsome amount. came through the rift, I crashed uh, my spaceship in the swamp. So it was oh, one of the first uh, buildings that I found refuge in. The rift? Could yeah. you uh, expand on that? So, um, in, in my reality timeline, I was born in the year 2240. Yeah. Um, to Ro a Romani family. Uh, they yep. moved to the United States, right? And after mm -hmm. the Fourth World War, where there was a genocide in Spain. So I was mm -hmm. raised in the United States and um, worked my way up to university into becoming a xenoanthropologist. So I was an astronaut working with a terraforming exoplanet, yeah? But while we were terraforming this planet, a third party extraterrestrial um, armed group came and we started skirmishing with them and I was taken captive. So I was on their, uh, like a space station, right? Being interrogated yeah. in a, a uh, all I could say was it was like a gravitational wormhole that uh, tore the ship apart. And I was able to escape. Would you uh, describe these creatures as a humanoid or human? They were humanoid, yes. Not human. Oh. Um, Kind of like Must a... Must have been a uh, Thunder Zone 115. Yeah, it's interesting. Have you, have you ever seen a crocodile? Uh, a, a picture, yeah. So imagine a, a human, but also a crocodile. Hmm. Like uh, this big? Like from, from here? To here? Like big like crocodile? Or like uh, the human size? Like they stand on two feet, but maybe like uh, two feet taller than you, with a, a mm. head that weighs maybe 50 pounds. Uh -huh. Isn't that a nice image? What that a pleasant... Is, uh, yeah, how pleasant to think of. That is unique. Um, I, I, I'm not sure what to say. As if crocodiles weren't scary enough. Right. No, they were telepathic too. Their interrogations were all psychological, psychic. Yeah. Telepathic crocodile uh, aliens. Yes. Unique. You have a uh, interesting mind, friend. Thank you. <laughs> Mulder, I think he just called okay. you crazy. I think he did. I'll show you my spaceship sometime, my friend. I would love to. That's what we originally came here to do. <laughs> and Mulder, I have to say, you're a nice guy now, but I don't think I can handle your swamp. Too much time, not enough space, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you, can you hear through? me? We, we can, can hear, hear you. you. Can you hear us? You might want to reset your input and your output. We can hear you. Kind of a nice drive. Yeah. Interesting. I've not not heard of this territory before. Never Give them a chance before. to uh, collect themselves. Let's, just, uh, uh, let's get on the, the roof of the police department. I don't want to get much closer than that. Okay. You know this territory, my friend. Gosh. 
down. Get down, please. The uh, fire department, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, I see. I, uh, I dropped some binoculars I was using. Uh, you might use them, uh, any of you that want to, to uh, check the area out. Sorry, out of character. Any of y'all want to happen to know the key binding for the HUD? Uh, it right is uh, the button... Yeah, yeah, the button right below the skate. Oh, wow. It Thanks. looks like they've, uh, they have some, some of those medieval cages I've seen in fairy tale books. Oh wow, I, yeah, they, uh, yeah, I see them too. They use those on the people that uh, misbehave. Uh, it is more of a shame thing than a, a, a practical thing. That Anyone still seems else pretty barbaric. Binoculars? No, I have my own scope. Especially in this weather. I'll take... Yeah, I'll take a look through them. Oh. I killed the fucking traitor. Oh, you managed to survive. I got knocked out, but plate carrier saved my life. Oh god. So, okay, yeah, we got we got backstabbed. I am here out of character at the moment. I am uh, I'm only here to bring you two back. You were injured, nothing more. Just knocked out. Knocked unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. Due to the, the uh, quick, due to the quick thinking of Mulder before he passed out due to the narcotics I fed him, he uh, he managed to prevent <laughs> this from being a total loss. And by quick thinking, I mean spinning around and shooting me like five times with 308. Dude, I looked at you for one moment. I thought this would be the moment, wouldn't it? And I turned around and looked back in the face. <laughs> I was like, goddamn instant. <laughs> I just heard shooting. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm in this box. My, my last shot of literally. You, uh, Gabriel, you laying down, you were uh, you were the nastiest of the kills because I just looked over and popped you in the head. You didn't even have a chance to fight back. The other two did. I had a one second reaction of, oh shit, when I heard you unsheath something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if those narcotics had taken effect, I should have, uh, instead of watching to see if they did, because I forgot how long it took, I should have darted around the thing and hid until you passed out. Then it would have been easy pickings. Sure. Yeah, I think my last two shots were taken with my when it was, like, all black. Hmm. It's probably for the best. Probably so. Here, I'm I dropping a sewing this. kit for you two to use. No need, I have my own. <laughs> I'm prepared for these <laughs> situations. <laughs> Gruesome death. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. One of the shots was a headshot. That's the reason I went down. My helmet's ruined. Oh, you damaged my... I got lucky from that hip fire then. <laughs> Take those cigarettes. That's a cool uh, camping team. It's gonna be a nice souvenir. Y'all wanna split this uh, MRE? Yeah, definitely. Uh. <clears throat> oh man, that's fucking peanut butter. 
I haven't had that shit in fucking ages. Sorry, I ate the most of it. That was kind of rude. I, uh, I must go for in-character reasons. Um, keep in mind your location and what is supposed to be nearby. I was going to ask if this is, uh, raidable over there. I can only assume this is a story. Out of character, though. That, I that was... Heard that. Let's go check it out. He has me pinned. You're not seeing where his, the shots are coming from? No, he must have a flash hider. It sounds uh, east, so maybe be on the hill. But he was uh, shooting at me through the window. See any Germans yet? <laughs> Do it. You can't kill me in any way that matters. No, this is out of character. Um, that is for an event coming soon. Um, you can enjoy the siege if you participate whenever it happens. Oh, this is just a... Uh, hold up. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm talking to Mulder in DMs right now. Yeah. That, uh, that was just uh, a realistic-ish response to uh, gunfire happening right outside a base, you know? It wasn't actually meant to hit anyone. Okay. But, anyway, the, the little is for an event coming up soon. Okay. And I think I talked to Johan about maybe you and some of the rest of y'all joining as defenders playing the part. Yeah, he, he had told me about that. 
so uh, we'll see closer to time how that plays out. But I look forward to it. I'm going to go let them know as well. This is a not for right now kind of raid. Okay. Hello here, Brian. I'm just reuniting you with them. All right. But uh, I'm going to disappear. I have to go uh, give people armbands. I uh, I hope you enjoyed our little. Uh... Absolutely. Little something. <laughs> but uh, you boys can keep the Kuba wagon. I don't care who ends up with it. That is the uh, that is whatever you found off the body. I think that's ours, Bill. Or... Yeah, I was telling them they can have it since we have so many vehicles. Yeah, and Mulder, I'm glad to see you made it out alive as well. Yeah, you're one of the few, uh, you're one of the few sane people, at least as sane as you can be. And it would be a shame to see you go, you know? This is, of course, out of character, but uh, that's a bit of an overstatement. <laughs> this man was talking <laughs> to me the whole car ride about spaceships and mushrooms and alligator men. <laughs> a little guy over here? Yeah. Still haven't seen your spaceship, so we don't know if it's real or not. Oh uh, uh, yeah, that's true. true. We never it. <laughs> yeah, so we just like, hey, I want to go see the spaceship. Gets wrapped up into this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what? Daisy. Amazing. Now I have to go harass the Russians. Yes. Oh, <laughs> please do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I, I earned a little bit of your Scratch trust in the men's life. Oh. It, yeah. It, it's the fact that these two made it back, and uh, you're alive, and they're alive. Uh, I trust. I, I trust you more implicitly than I do uh, as a crazy Italian man. We call a searchlight. Uh, have you seen uh, him Abramo. I have not. Yeah. No. Uh, oh yeah. This is antics. Uh, I'm asking. I think you'd like a gift I have for you. Oh. Ah, rotten steak. Thank German. you. Oh. My God damn it. Oh. Just off his corpse. Well, uh, I already have. I already have one. Uh, so. I appreciate the gesture, but uh, perhaps you can take that for yourself. Yeah, so Hans, this, um, this uh, intelligence officer was asking a bit about you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. They are the uh, pernicious people. The husbandmen. Oh, yeah. Do, uh, do any of you... Uh, no, what do we have there? The uh, trophy. If I uh, made oh. mistakes in the meantime. Oh, yes, please. This, uh, this book is not what it seems, my friends. Thank you. Hmm. Yes, this, will, uh, this will require some studying, but this is a uh, cipher. Thank you for bringing it. Uh, I figured it will cipher. help you. Yeah. It, uh... It is not a book on Jer uh, Russian, per se, but uh, more so a, uh, a a book for intelligence. Interesting. Mm. And you got this off of the uh, defector? Yes, I did. <coughs> it seems that um, he was using that book to uh, gather his intelligence inside, maybe. Yes, yes. Well, uh... I'm glad that he was dealt with, and I, uh, I hope the rest of them are soon enough. Uh, but, it's too early for business, I'm hungry. Uh, I mean, to eat his own, I ate worse. I ate worse during the occupation crazy. of Berlin. Uh. Uh, if you say so, I had perfectly cooked steak uh, here in my bag, but um, whatever floats your boat, as they say in uh, 
to have me go, yeah? <laughs> that is what they say. Hey, I've even heard of that one. <laughs> well. So, yeah, you got the Google wagon out of it, yeah? Yes, we did. Yeah. Man, oh, we did. We did. Yep. I think you might uh, show your friend here, Johan, as well. Yeah, it's just outside. Yeah. He sounds excited. Oh, to, to have a vehicle is... Uh, we have a vehicle with after, a, yeah. We have a vehicle that's really tough and a shit ton of storage space. Oh, stupid amount of storage space. This is fantastic. This is going to be got, so much easier. Building. We got some base building stuff in the back. We've got supplies. Fantastic. Yeah. We got a large tent. We can make great sides then. We have a safe. The uh, the back of a Kubel wagon is deceptively large, yeah? Yeah. Very much so. German engineering <laughs> for you. Yeah, I was just about to say, uh, German engineering, they really make use of all this space. <laughs> Yeah, well, I suppose we might as well get off and I'd left to ride with it. After all, it's, it, this is ours, yeah? It's not a loner. Yeah, this is ours. Yeah. I did promise Mulder to ride back to this place, though. Yes. Good, good, good. Is that the fancy bat? Where did you get that? It's uh, out of character. It spawned into the uh, empty slots when I tried to uh, uh, fix up the vehicle. And so I had to remove it because it's not supposed to exist. I actually think it's uh, <laughs> Harley Quinn's bat. Now that I look at it. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it says Puddin on it and Harley question mark. Oh yeah. It Interesting. Does. When I have so here the, the other to my uh, samurai sword. Uh, still out of character, of course. You boys want to see something really funny? Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to whip that thing out. Oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take that, bail. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Hear about watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spawn a sewing case that messed anything up. <laughs> oh my god, it hit my jacket, my poor jacket. Oh, <laughs> a tactical test on oh, jacket too. Is it ruined? Yeah, they're both ruined. Oh, I'll drop them real quick and I'll replace them. No problem. Yeah, my jacket. There you go. Jesus. The fly squad <laughs> there is a yeah, frightening me. weapon. Now, yeah. I did find this. Oh. Was that a brown uh -oh. bomber jacket? Why is that a thing? <laughs> what is that for? <laughs> That's fun. Sorry about your mask. Yeah. Built different. Falls over instantly. I love the fly sound that it makes when it's in your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I hadn't noticed that until now. All right, uh, I've all your stuff replaced properly. Yes. Yeah. And you're done with both of these ruined things, right? There's nothing in them. Yeah, yeah I think they're. Okay. Yeah, they're all right. What a night. What a night. What a... What a weird what a character. <laughs> oh. You talking shit? Huh? 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 Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Pull the wheels off this thing. Oh god, nah, please. Please. You boys have fun. Don't send us into Thanks the moon. Thanks for playing. Thank you, bro. Love you. Yeah, yeah, Bye. Bye. Love you.
so it uh, it is the German Reich that was uh, that that's been dabbling over here, observing us, the learning. Mm. I thought the Reich fell apart after the after the flash, you know. I that's mean, what I heard. Yeah. So I suppose. What if they, uh, what if this, these uh, Germans are not uh, from our timeline, you know? What if they're here like you, uh, courtesy of some, uh, courtesy of the machine? Right. Uh, that's a very good question and I would not be surprised if that were the case at all. I'll take another right, be a follow to and we'll go up the hill and then the left. Yes, it's, um, it's a scary thing to think about. Yeah. Oh, sorry. If they're from a different timeline, maybe the future like me, then maybe they'll be bringing in uh, technology as well that uh, can benefit us. Yeah. And I mean, they're not the Nazis. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, things can always be feared, you know. With the mist, the godhead, and the like. Uh, speaking of, Brian, Bell. You know uh, the broadcast we heard mentioning a lighthouse, yeah? Yeah. I found the lighthouse. The left here. I, I found it. And Where's the lighthouse? But I was, I was on the dock over by the freight uh, yeah. the freighter specifically, and uh, across the across the water there was a, a a lighthouse. Like occasionally the light would turn on, illuminate everything. And I'm fairly certain that is where we're looking for. If I had a map, I could likely mark it so we could go there later. Um, but unfortunately, I do not. And another left. We'll have to swing by. You're there. talking about where you cross the bridge at the Fry Corps. You take a left and go north to Portland, and it's on the coast there. Yeah, that yeah. was the one that kept. Uh, it would turn on for a few seconds, then turn off. Right, uh, to your knowledge, uh, to your knowledge, are there any uh, survivors who might be calling this place their home? To my knowledge, no, I don't think so. Mm. I've I've only seen come across one survivor on that in, on that road and in that area, even in Portland, and I, I did not even see the one in Portland. I just was shot at. Well, it sounds like if we go there, we might need some protection. Maybe not escort. Who knows? Yeah, I would suggest that. Um, uh, Bell, uh, uh, Bell, Brian, do did either of you mark where this uh, right outpost was? Uh, I remember it. Uh, yeah, I can remember it. Okay. I would just have to take some time to look yeah, at the Yeah, I've map. got the... It's at, it's at yeah, the I've Hazelands. Got the Hazelands. It's at the Hazelands. So. Yeah. In the Hazelands? Yeah. Yes, we will have to watch in the future uh, discussing the, um, the Russians on the radio channel because uh, I believe they have access now. Oh, uh, yeah. We will have to be careful, yeah. And you can always leave notes for each other, if you really have Yeah, to. so, so I, I'm sure you have to be careful with the timing, else, you know, winds might blow it away. Yeah. I should do it a, a lot more stuff in a bag. Uh, yeah, you could. It likes that one stranger who walked up to us and dropped off a duffel bag with a single message in it. There. Still like not that. over that. Yeah, we still have no idea who that was, right? Yeah, I didn't say a word. So, yeah, part I, of like me I is said, thinking... 
He ran by me. He didn't say anything. He didn't even acknowledge me. Wow. Yeah, that is disconcerting. But we need to find, we need answers, yeah? Got to figure out what is going on, else we're just going to sit here and ignore it until one day uh, uh, something happens. Something we can't be ready for. Very true, my friend. Then one of our headlights was ruined. It's already been ruined. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was like that. Good to know, good to know. Now I cannot, that is one less thing to yell at you about. Listen to me acting like a little Kaiser. Can you hear that, Brian? You yeah. might have a little Nazi in the back. He said Nazi. Nazi. He said Kaiser. I'm gonna open the door.